This week on Top 5 Plays, Team Play Timing and Total Annihilation. My name is of course Vox and let's get straight into play number 5 which I'm sure you'll find pretty unbelievable as the pit player themselves returning to the big screen once more with another crazy evil mojo. We'll jump weightless, let's pip chase down two and nuke them for a double kill in just a single bombardment. Now they turn to break down the real raid boss of Fernando. The self-proclaimed knight is low and whilst their shield is mighty, eventually they and Makoa fall too for the Team Wipe Power Play. The payload moves. You know them, you love them. The self proclaimed Fragmaster Stolte brings it home on Frozen Guard for the team blind conversion. Dragon Punch redirected by more list of to clean up Cassie. Heat Haze is popped and drugs are skewered unaware. Revenge is sweet on the drugs to wipe out an ally, and Eevee, nothing more than a pesky popsicle before a god. Stolte tags out and Smidge and takes over. McCullough has their crown because Cutie's far too stunning for that. The turtle is chewed through with a goblin smack, and Buck 2 is no contest for the mechanical master. 2 0. Easy lead. Another combo play up next. Lazy's Eevee has a spicy dismount that favors the Breeder Squad's positioning. Ruckus advances as Cassie is pulled into the danger zone. Speaking of danger, this danger noodle sees a grouping as Eevee blinks in. Out goes Dread Serpent for the scary snowstorm wombo combo. Nobody escapes from Bird's metallic madness, and every single enemy is decimated in a matter of seconds. Steady on there, though, Ruckus. Bolt is still in charge. From one end of the spectrum right to the other, this time it's I Drop Bodies fishing for kills. Solo style is Cassie on Fishing Village. Makoa's hook is baited, but Bodies too experienced of an angler to be so distracted. With Troy's herd and implanted shell in, it's easy picking with their back to the real danger. Makoa, seen earlier, is picked off when low, and Drogo's goes around the outside now has no backup. Three shots and three in a row, but Bodies ain't done yet. Artamba's low, Rockets gets in the way, but Makoa's chosen to choose the wrong direction to juke. So close to a pentakill, but behind them the body drops, and drops a Steals away the glory, but the team still comes out on top. We've already seen a god today, but what of the god slayer? Perdo of District 69, the uncontested land champion, is ready to deliver a mortal blow to their opponents in this week's top play. Eevee slips past their careful defense and blind gets the objective in a cloud of confusion, whilst Ruckus is a tasty morsel. King is far more delicious. Out of ammo, reversal keeps Perdo safe from Cassie, and the bind time reload allows for the outplay. Slider hand on the other step, reloads Perdo again, but the immortal only needs three more shots for their first quadra kill. Impressive, to say the least, but we're far from a Done here and respawns are due. Perdo advances to hold the front line, dismounting where available as District 69 earn themselves the first payload capture of the game. Under heavy fire, they retreat skywards. Higher still to remain out of sight, they poke out Eevee, but escape before Makoa's mobile anchor. Makoa elects to pursue their low health Cassie, but unwisely sold. They don't spy the God Slayer, and with another step up cooldown, Perdo chases down another kill with credit to Fernando. Oh, what's that round the corner? Ying dear, today is not your day. Spring is yet to come, and the blossom withers yet again. Eevee stunned out by Bomb King is a simple kill. Blink a little too slow there, easy pickings, and Perdo is hungry for more. Up towards the enemy base with respawns due again, Perdo takes the high ground advantage as the payload pushes on. An ambush is set. Buck and Androxus ready and waiting. Bomb King does redirect, but Eevee sniffs out the danger with a crafty blink. Three enemies collapsing on Buck. So low, heroic leap helps them flee behind reverse which keeps them alive and slays Rucker. So feed this monster, their appetite insatiable. A cursed arm destroys Ying again, fights Eevee in flight, and Makoa only pulls their end closer for a headshot finish. Two quadra kills, a payload push, and death is all that awaits Perdo's enemies. Thank you for watching this episode of Paladin's Top 5 Plays. Subscribe for more videos and check out the Paladin's Digital Loot Pack for the Invitational at Hyra's Expo in Open Beta Patch 40.